NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Ben Frischette. All right, time right now, 645. You're taking a live look from White River Junction. Ben, I know you mentioned 8 to 12 inches expected there. Ski resorts are super excited for this one. Oh, yes. absolutely. It's a super fluffy snow, too, and uh, White River Junction really living up to its name this morning. And I want to show you a couple other webcams around the region. The snow is here yeah, for just about everybody. Lake Placid, Montpelier, Lindenville, and Plymouth at least reporting some snow. You can see in Lindenville the view a little more clear there and the view outside the uh, Heroes Welcome General Store in North Hero showing the snow letting up for a little bit. That'll be the case for a while to the north, sort of on and off as the leading edge of the snow gets in here, but it starts to fill in as we go towards the afternoon. 13 in North Hero, that's exactly what you want to see with a storm like this. We are certainly on the cold side of everything and it will be all snow all throughout. The main leading edge is uh, coming through now, but you can see how it wraps around near the Great Lakes. This is a little area of enhancement that comes through in the afternoon, and that's the part of the storm that really ramps up the snow rates in the midday hours. So right now it's a widespread light snow, a little bit broken up as you go towards the Canadian border, but steadier snow moving into the Plattsburgh Burlington area farther to the south. It's just a little bit heavier, and you can see that with the darker colors here on storm tracker temperatures teens and low 20s so this snow going to be super fluffy easy to clean up and we have the added bonus of not much wind as we go into the afternoon worst time to be on the roads from about later this morning into the early afternoon that's when the heaviest snowfall rates will be but a big improvement as we think about the evening if you have evening plans i actually think you're looking okay so this is futurecast just to show you what this looks like on the uh, radar map Steady snow is here by 9 o'clock for everybody. Notice the blues getting a little darker as we go towards lunchtime, early afternoon. That's when the area of enhancement moves in. And all of this leaves very rapidly during the evening commute. Still think travel will be tough, but no more accumulating snow, which is always good news. And the sun breaking out first thing Saturday morning. Saturday actually looks like a beautiful day, but it will be cold with highs only in the upper 20s. Widespread 6 to 12 inches. This forecast hasn't changed too much. Most in the southern Vermont mountains and the least in the immediate St. Lawrence River Valley, especially when you get towards Messina. So what this looks like in Plattsburgh, about 7 to 8 inches when the storm is done. Note that most of the accumulation is during the daylight hours. Farther to the south, Killington getting closer to a foot. And I think that's where many of our summits will be as we go towards the end of the storm, especially Okemo and Stratton, where they could be pushing a foot and a half. By the way, a few snow squalls possible on Sunday. We'll watch that for you. Doesn't look like a big threat right now, but it's the leading edge of much colder air, which gets here Monday. Highs only in the teens by then.